Hello friends, in this video I am going to tell you about the PIA sensor. What is PIA sensor? What are the components that are sold around the PIA sensor? And what are the application of the PIA sensor? PIA sensor is also known by other name which is passive infrared sensor, paralactic sensor or IR motion sensor. So let's learn more about the PIA sensor. First of all, I would like to tell you about the application of the PIA sensor. So let's start it. So PIA sensor is an electronic device which helps to detect the presence of human body or human being around it. And it also sends the motion of human body. So this is the application of the PIA sensor. It will not detect any human being which is inside the car. So this is most important thing we have to keep in mind uh, while using the PI sensor for detection of motion of human being. If somebody present inside the car and the car is in motion, then if you want to detect the motion of the human body which is present inside the car, then it is not possible with the help of the PI sensor. So if you want to make some project which need to detect human being, then you can use the PI sensor. So next important question is what is PI sensor? PI sensor is made up of paraelectric device which detect the level of infrared radiation that incident on this rectangular glass. So this is the PIR sensor. Component of PI sensor. This is Fresnel lens. Fresnel lens helps to accommodate or to concentrate all the rays that comes out from the human body and incident on the and incident on this rectangular glass so that the PAR sensor or a paraelectric sensor will easily detect the infrared that comes out from the human body. As we know that Fresnel lens helps to incident the infrared radiation to the paralactic sensor so this play very important role while you purchasing the PIR sensor the PIR sensor Fresnel lens are of different type and due to the material which is used to make the Fresnel lens is also play very important role so if you want to purchase a high quality of PIR sensor then the Fresnel lens is also very important point to keep in mind while purchasing the PIA sensor. Fresnel lens has three sections. The top section is A section and this is B section and this is C section. So this is all about the Fresnel lens. Second most important element is this paraelectric sensor. Paraelectric sensor is a in capsulated sensor at the at the top of the PI sensor this is the rectangular glass and this helps to filter the infrared radiation that comes from the Fresnel lens with the help of this circuit diagram you can easily understand what are the internal components that is inside the PI sensor so this is infrared filter glass which is on the top of the a paraelectric sensor. These are the two paraelectric material. So paraelectric material is a type of material which generate voltage when we compress or tensile the material. So or we can change if we change the temperature of the material. When ray comes in the PI sensor through this uh, pyroelectric filter glass 
then the temperature of this material will change and due to the change of the temperature of the material it will generate some voltage and the generated voltage is comes to the n channel j fact transistor j fact stands for junction fail effective transistor it has three terminal gate drain and source the other terminal of the uh, pyroelectric sensor is this ground. So as you see here, the PI sensor module has a three terminal, VCC, out and ground. VCC is a drain, out is source and G and is ground which is comes out from this pyroelectric sensor. Now the other important component that is soldered on the PI sensor is this base 0001 micro power PI motion detector IC. It provides two function to the PI sensor module that is re-triggering and triggering. These are the re-triggering and triggering pins. With the placement of this, we can make the PI sensor module as a re-trigger and trigger. These are the slider switch. One is for sensitivity and other is for increasing the range of the PI sensor module. These are the three pin. One, of, one is VCC. Other is out which is digital pin and third one is ground. These are the di dielectric capacitor. This is this is 3 volt voltage regulator which regulate the voltage that we are providing here on VCC that is 5 volt. It regulate it to 3 volt and provide to this circuit. So in the next video, I will describe about uh, how to test this PIA sensor and in the other video, I will describe how we can uh, how we can set the mode of the PIA sensor as a trigger and re-trigger and also how we can increase the range of the PIA sensor and how we can increase the sensitivity of the PI sensor. So this is all about PI sensor. If you like my videos, then like it, share it and comment down below. Thank you so much.